going on everybody? This is Striker, welcoming you back to my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play episode number 37. I do so believe, guys. Now, we have a mission. If you check out our Pokemon, right, we've got the usual party. We've got all of our bad boys and girls here, right, rolling out here. Vibrava needs to become a Flygon. And in order to do that, Vibrava has to be at level 45. So, our goal is to pretty much exclusively train Vibrava. I'm Bernie, you know, the camping expert. When we battled, I couldn't help but lose to you. After all, my expertise is in camping. But win or lose, I'd like to battle when I'm camping. Battle with us again, okay? Oh, and let's go camping too, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we are going to get our Vibrava into a Flygon at our nearest possible I, I would say convenience, I guess, because Vibrava is not a very strong Pokemon, so kind of sucks having to raise it. That's why I've had the EXP share on it, just chilling at the back of the party, getting some extra EXP for, uh, well, sitting it out, you know, riding the Pine Tar, being the Water Boy. But we are battling Pokemon that are usually around 10 levels or so less than we are in terms of levels, so... We might be able to defeat a couple of these, and then when we get our health low, we have to switch Vibrava out, and then heal in between episodes, or heal while out on the road, or whatever. So we, we've just got to try to do everything we can to get Vibrava up to level 45. Now, obviously, six levels is not going to be fun, especially when we're taking 22 damage from one of the weakest Pokemon in all of, in all of the game. So that, that's fun, but we've got to do what we've got to do, and it'll take one more Dragon Breath in order to knock out this Sableye, and we will be able to use a potion of some sort. I, I hope I have something... Really? I, I hope I have something that's not like a Hyper Potion. I hope I have like a Super Potion or just like a couple of regular potions. Not quite sure what I have in my bag, so we've got to check that out. Um, Vibrava still does have the EXP share, so I mean, we can always switch, we can always switch it out. No big deal. Cool Trainer Jennifer has gone down. You're obviously thinking. And I got 1,440 Pokebucks for winning. Fantastic, thank you. Um, potions, fantastic. Let's go ahead and use two of these. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go two of these. It'll be 89 out of 92. That's fine. You know, three HP down, no biggie. Okay, and then we do have a rare candy, but I don't like to use rare candies because it doesn't give you the same statistical advantage uh, as, as leveling it up yourself. I actually meant to get back on the pathway there instead of walking in the tall grass, but here we are. Okay, so we've got a Mighty Ina. This should probably be okay. Uh, um, I'm hoping for a two-shot, and, uh, well, the attack went down, so that's not good. I'm not sure if Dragon Breath is a physical or a special. Yikes. Okay, so it is going to take three, no matter what we do. All we can hope for is either a bunch of Odor Sleuths or um, some Paralysis to come into effect here. Let's go ahead and switch off of our Dragon Breath, and we'll use one Crunch, because no matter what, even with one more Dragon Breath, it wouldn't be enough. So that Crunch should set us up here. Whew! The Roar failed. Thank goodness. Okay, so we should be able to use one Dragon Breath, and it'll be enough to knock this thing out. And it is! Yes! We heard the Pokémon make its little sound thingamajiggy. It's, uh, it's call... What, what is it called? It's, um... Oh, there's a Pokémon in the way. Yeah, sure. Let's use a Devon Scope. An invisible Pokémon became completely visible. And it attacked! Okay, so we have had one run away, and all of the other ones have attacked us, so it might have been the one in front of the gym that ran away? And uh, that was the only one that was actually designed in the game to run away. But I'm not sure. Could be possible, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we just need to keep heading south here on this route, though. We need to head south and then west. Yikes. Okay, well, at least it's switching over to the dragon type will make it much easier to put damage on. Um, because dragon Pokemon are weak to dragon. So, interestingly enough, dragons are weak to dragons. I guess it kind of makes sense if you go back to, like, the mythical origins of, of these things. You know, like, the only way to defeat another dragon is with a, another dragon. So, there you go. Super effective dragon move on a dragon-type Pokemon. Faint attack. It's gonna hurt, but not too bad. We should be able to survive it just fine. Yes. 
I do think it's annoying that the rain continues to fall happens after every single turn, um, but it's just something you gotta deal with. So, super effective, knocked it out, and we should get some pretty decent returns here. Yeah, 564, that's not bad, so we're about halfway to level 40, which is definitely a good start. Okay, 71, and then we can get up to 91, 1 HP short, and as last time, that's fine with me. Oh, wow! That's a one heck of a reach on that trainer. I'll check your Pokemon and see if they're fit for the outdoors. Okay. Also, just so you guys know, I do know that two episodes ago and three episodes ago, I messed up the cropping on everything. But I actually, like, made sure I was gonna record it properly, so the cropping's good. You can actually see the whole screen and not just, like, part of it. Which is always good, you know? Okay, so we've got a C dot. Let's go ahead and crunch and see what this does here. I don't think it's gonna be too powerful. It just made me eat my words. Okay, that was an extremely powerful attack. I do know that we have 11 levels to its superior, which is good. Don't get me wrong, having extra levels is always good. Ooh, you're gonna use a full restore and a wild, or a one-time trainer thing? You're not, you're not even staking a gym badge here. We'll just use another bite. I mean, that just did, I don't know, three-fifths? I was gonna say two-thirds, but I think that's more than a third. So, three-fifths of, of its health in, in just a bite? I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I know C-Dot isn't exactly the, uh, the most powerful Pokemon, but still. I mean, to do that much damage with just a regular bite? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Alright, so the rain still does continue to fall, in case you guys forgot. I know, I know, I, it slipped my mind twice, too. It's okay, it happens. Alright, fake out, and I do believe this move makes us flinch. Yes, it is guaranteed to make the opposing opponent flinch. I guess opposing opponent is actually kind of redundant, but nonetheless. Is this a one hit? No! It was a crit. It was a crit, which is good. Crits are good. And uh, swift for natural power? Okay, we took, we took a little bit of damage, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and use one more crunch, though, and that will definitely be enough to mop up that Lombre. Fantastic. Let's see, we've got, ooh, 846 EXP, and a Nuzleaf is coming out, which I do so believe we can take out pretty easy. The, obviously, the, the crunch and bite are not going to be super duper effective on this thing, but a Dragon Breath might be. Really, with the fake outs. They're not even that effective. They did nine, I guess it's a free nine HP that you can hit it for, but still, come on. All right, so we got a Dragon Breath coming out. At least you have health. I'm okay with that. That's fine. You know, we've got, we, we've got a little grounds to make up in terms of our HP. We're down just under 30 HP, which is okay, you know. We're down 28, which we can use our last potion on. I think we'll be able to get away with that. We'll be eight HP short, but it's no biggie. Ooh, all right, level 40 for Vibrava. And Ranger, was that Lazaro, was defeated? With Pokemon that strong, you're in no danger of needing rescue. And I got 1,344 bucks. We'll go ahead and use that last potion. I think these are potions that I actually bought way back when we were in Little Root. It's been that long since I've purchased potions and such. A nugget, that's good. Aren't those like $5,000 or something like that at the shop? Or not the shop, the mart? I know what my Pokemon terms are. Oh, we missed a trainer up here. Okay, well, let's go back this way. We'll cut through the grass. And we're gonna do a Pokemon battle, of course, you know. Alright, so we already know how to take this bad boy out. It's gonna take a couple of Dragon Breaths. And unfortunately, Vibrava will run out of the PP necessary to continue battling. Uh, yes, it does have Bite, yes, it does have Crunch, um, but I mean, we're, we're gonna be running out of both of these fairly quickly, at least the way that it seems, because not a lot of these are one hits. A lot of them are two, three, and four hits, especially when, uh, other trainers are using full restores. What is Swagger? Oh, doesn't it, like, make me confused? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so, we're gonna risk it for the Biscuit. I think we're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use Bite. Because Bite, with this extreme increase in attack, should be enough to knock it out. No? Are you kidding me? Just kidding, okay. 
I retract my last statement, obviously. Bite is not all that strong. I was just trying to save some some moves here. Let's try a faint attack. Why not? Let, let's just see. We're probably going to hurt ourselves anyway. Yep, there it is. And we're going to do a lot of damage to ourselves. Yeah, we, we just did 26 damage. Come on now. Alright, the rain continues to fall. I get it. We've got it. It happens every turn. Still confused. Please don't hurt yourself. Twice it has hurt itself. Alright, 17. Okay, we have to switch. There's there's no way that we can continue on this way, so we're going to have to switch out of this, which is stupid, because it's just a regular wild Pokemon. <sighs> okay, Pokemon. We're just going to switch over to Swampert. Swampert's already here. Might as well. Swampert also has damage. No other Pokemon in the party does. Are you serious? <sighs> That's why I really hate that they allow... Not HP up. What's that? Ooh, 50. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, gosh darn it, I used it on the wrong Pokemon! Anyways, that's why I hate when wild Pokemon know stupid attacks like Roar, because you can be in like a 30 turn battle, and then they just hit you up with a Roar, and then that's it. Like, why? Why is that a thing? Anyway, how is your physical fitness? If you're not fit, you could have a rough time in critical situations. I, I do believe that that's true to some extent. Not necessarily like end of the world doomsday type deal, but okay. Pokemon Ranger Jenna sent out a Lotad. Alright, these things, as we know, are pretty easy to defeat. All of them being lower level evolutionary Pokemon. These go right along with the C dots and such. Alright, so this should be enough for a one hit? No, it's not, actually. Color me surprised, with it being 12 levels below us and and being a Lotad, I figured that that would have been enough, but then again. Vibrava is extremely weak. It's when it becomes Flygon that it actually has some punch to it. Alright, fantastic. 444 EXP. And another Lombre. Alright. Let's go ahead and just stick with the crunch and see what happens. I do have to say, this rain continuing to fall thing is pretty freaking annoying. I get it. I know it's raining. See, I flinched and now it falls again. I know it's raining. The whole route is raining. I get it, Pokemon. Thank you. Just let it go. Nature Power turned into Swift! Wow! What a surprise! Not too bad, though. Not too bad. <sighs> this rain, man. It's, it's gonna drive me nuts. We better get out of this route as soon as... Are you serious? It's got one HP left? At least that's what it looks like. And I bet you, we're gonna try to use- we're gonna switch over to Bite to try to save some PP, I bet. A full restore. Yep. Yep. That- that happened. Okay, well. Ah, <sighs> full restore. Use a Bite. Rain continues to fall. I get it. We're just gonna have to bite it out. We- we know that we can beat this thing, we just have to allow ourselves to save some PP here. Cause we're not- we're not gonna get anywhere if all of our moves don't have any PP. Which are what, power points? Is that what it's, uh, what the abbreviation is? I think so, something like that. Again with the 1 HP. I'll tell you this right now. If another full restorer is used, I'm ending the episode. I don't even care that we're a whole minute early. I'm gonna end the whole episode if this is another full restorer. Thank the law one. Alright. Lombre is down. That was not worth 846 EHP. <laughs> EHP, whatever that means. EXP. Alright, so we got a Nuzleaf, and the rain continues to fall, I know! Oh my goodness, alright, Dragon Breath, we've only got five of these left, which sucks, because we're only going to have three of them left after this Nuzleaf. Alright, and it gains what, just attack? Special attack, right. I thought that was a different color, or it was supposed to be a different color than just regular attack, but guess I'm mistaken on that one. Alright, good, Dragon Breath. Knocked it out, Nuzleaf down, 846 EXP, and we're about halfway to level 41. Again, 1,344 bucks. That seems to be a reoccurring number, and I am just going to avoid all tall grass, if possible. I was going to say, that's probably tall grass, alright. 
Let's go ahead and keep moving through the labyrinth of grasses. Alright, is this the end? Looks like the end to me. Alright, fantastic. So we are continuing our adventure, and um, before we cross this bridge, let's go ahead and end the episode right here because the range just stopped. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.